Hello guys, so I'm going to show you on how you can enable the virtualization especially for those who are a gamer using their P PC uh, uh, if you're running emulator or virtual box or something like that that requires virtualization uh, enabled in your BIOS so this is by the way this is the, the motherboard of this PC is B450M Mortar Max so yeah so let's get started oh uh, let's restart my PC okay now I am currently restarting my PC so I just hit the delete or the if2 so okay so let's just hit the F delete on your keyboard just click the okay. okay and it will loads up the BIOS okay so here as you can see I am at my BIOS settings so what you gonna do is just go to uh, CPU wait go to advanced or if you are in a uh, easy mode so I just go to uh, yeah. then uh, overclock ok click this one overclock and then uh, advance ok wait advance CPU configuration I mean uh, OC or overclock advanced cpu configuration click that one and you will see this one here uh yeah this one sbm mode so just click and enable then after you enable just click the f10 button here stop this one and it will ask you to save yes or no so just hit yes and we'll restart your computer so let's just wait for a couple of seconds okay uh, once uh, it, you are done enabling your virtualization settings on your BIOS we'll just test if the LD player which is the emulator for Android is again asking me or not so basically as expected since we enabled the virtualization it is obviously uh, will not ask me to enable because it is already enabled okay now I'm going to open my LD player and let's see if the virtualization is asking me again So, as you can see, virtualization requirement for this emulator is not asking me anymore. So, that's it, guys. That is how you can enable your virtualization for you to be able to maximize and boost your game experience when you are using your uh, emulator. And also, for those who are using uh, virtual box or some third-party operating system so that's it thank you for watching and hope this video helps bye for now